Hey girls, today I'm doing a huge collective end of summer haul. This is partly thanks to my friend Louisa who gave me a really large belated birthday gift and loads of stuff with some food as well. I'm very grateful. If you buy me vegan food, I'll just love you forever, basically. Yeah. I will start with Lush. Uh, I haven't been there in a while. Still have loads from my last purchase. If you saw my haul, like, months ago, still have those bath bombs waiting to be used, which is quite sad. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and get through them once a week so that I don't leave these wasting as well. But first, she got me four really cute bath bombs. So first one is the Lucky Cat. Very cute. It says um, it's got loads of essential oils. It's got Yang Yang, so it's gonna smell really good. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I really hope it is, that's embarrassing if not. I'm so bad with pronouncing things, guys. Um, if you ask any of my friends, I just, <laughs> I don't know how I'm like really good at languages, but I just can't pronounce normal English words. God. Anyway, I haven't seen these either, so this is like a cute little unboxing. <gasps> oh, this is really cute. Okay, I think this, this seems like it would have been something from Chinese New Year, although it's bright pink, it's not red, but it's one of those like waving lucky cats, you know? It smells amazing, so fresh. It's very like springy, but I imagine the water's gonna look so beautiful with this. And I think, yeah, because it's a bath bomb. I will actually, I mean, you could cut it in half. I might cut it in half, because that's a really big bath bomb. Um, oh, my fingers are all glittery, okay. I like having glitter, so I'll just apply it to my hands. But yeah, that will look really nice in the water. Next, she got me something called Black Rose. And this, of course, it just has a rose scent. It's got lemon oil. So again, it's going to be quite moisturizing on the skin. It's going to feel very, like, luxurious. Very pretty. Wow, this is, this is going to look insane. Look at that. Mmm. That smells amazing. Doesn't smell strongly of rose. It kind of reminds me of, like... A really sweet rose tea but then it's got maybe hints of that lemon and other floral notes in there really nice then she got me the creamy candy bubble bar apparently it's new so I guess the I don't know if it's the same as like candy mountain and I don't know what the other one is but it might be along the same lines it says yeah so it's a bubble bar so you just crumble a little bit so I'll use it hopefully two or three times so, oh, yeah. Okay, it basically smells the same as like Candy Mountain and Snow Fairy and along, along those lines, like very, very sweet, like bubble gummy. Mm, that's gonna be really nice as well. And then she got me one final bath bomb, very sweet. This is the strawberries and cream. So very, very like sweet and florally girly scents. Really excited to try these. I've never used any of these. And oh, this one's so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, this is definitely like a special summer Wimbledon um, release, so I don't think it's gonna be in stores for too long, but look at that, oh, that's so cute. Imagine having like a giant strawberry, cutting it in half and then filling it with like whipped cream and like chocolate, oh, that would taste so good. Mmm, yeah. That has, that's not actually as sweet as I expected. It does smell of strawberry, but it's also got Something called olibanum oil, bergamot, geranium, black pepper. Okay, so it's like a huge mix. It's kind of like a little bit spicier than what you'd think. It's not like a bubblegummy strawberry scent. So that's very, very cute. Can't wait to try that. I need to use that before the summer is up. So that's everything from Lush. And now I will show you guys the body shop. And then I also have some bits from TK Maxx. One fashion item I might as well show you guys. I guess I could do it in a try and haul, but it's just one piece I picked up from Zara. I'll show you at the end. And okay, so my friend actually had a 50% discount card. So excited for the body shop. So I went a little wild, but I did also only get things that I thought I would need in the near future that I will run out of pretty soon and I might as well get them half off from an amazing shop. So she really recommended this Youth Concentrate sheet mask and it's obviously like inspired by the Korean sheet masks and um, I think Drops of Youth is actually a pretty good brand, like range from the brand and she recommended it. It's got three different plant stem cells. Um, it's, sorry, my lips are so dry. <laughs> It's supposed to give you instant hydration, so I guess if you've been on a night out and the next morning you're just feeling like your skin's really dull and you're not feeling great, this could be a nice little pick-me-up or right before or after traveling. I think that would be a really good option when your skin gets really like dry and a little stressed. So this says, 
This is meant to give you fresher, bouncier, healthier skin. I might take a little before and after pic or just do a mini review on my blog because this, yeah, I think this range is really popular. So again, I'm sorry, I don't have the receipt, so I'm not sure what the prices are. I think, okay, I'll give you the full price, not what I paid. Uh, I think that was five pounds. And then I got a body lotion for, I think this was six pounds. And it's the Wild Argan Oil. And I wanted something a little more nourishing and rich uh, without being really greasy and oily. And I think the whipped lotion, um, and also because it has a pump, it's just a lot easier to apply. It sinks in straight away. There's like no fuss to it. You can use it really easily. Also just have it on your desk and use it as a hand cream if you want. It's the Argan Oil and they get it from Morocco. That's, oh yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, I'll actually give it, see what it smells like. Mm, yeah, I, I don't remember what argan oil smells like, but I think it smells exactly like that. It's a very rich, nutty scent, and yeah, really excited to try that. I tried their mango whipped lotion, and it felt moisturizing, but it sunk in almost like a gel, and it didn't feel sticky or greasy at all, so love that. Then I got a face wash. I think this was, I want to say six or seven pounds. And it's 100 mil, so it's a decent size, and it's from the seaweed range, so it's a little exfoliating, and it says it's a um, pore cleansing. It's got mineral-rich seaweed, uh, which is apparently from Ireland, which is very interesting. Combination oily skin, obviously if you have dry skin, you don't want to be drying out, stripping your skin of all the oils. It's just, yeah, if you, you get like build-up or pores, um, not pores, like, um, like blackheads and like, you feel like your pores get clogged then this could be a really good weekly treatment. I might actually try it today. It's also got olive stone and jojoba beads, so it is gonna be very, very exfoliating, really reveal like really hopefully smooth skin underneath. So excited to try that. The packaging as well, very beautiful, love that blue. Then I got something I've actually already been using because I couldn't, couldn't save it, couldn't wait. It's the Grapeseed Glossing Serum. So it's supposed to get rid of dull and frizzy hair. Basically just like, I used it this morning as well. So yeah, you can see my hair has a bit of a shine. It's just meant to kind of gloss over and smooth down your hair. And it's not super oily or greasy. I was always worried about oils, like how much do you put on the hair, especially when it's dry, is it gonna like make it look super greasy? But it dries almost instantly, so you can build it up however much you want, provided you don't have really thin hair, in which case don't buy an oil, I don't think. I think it's better maybe to use a serum or a mist or something like that. But yeah, really um, impressed with this one so far, and I'm not sure, yeah, it does smell of grapes, has a kind of that sour, almost citrusy scent to it. Really nice. And I think this is seven pounds, but again, it's only 75 mil. However, keep in mind that for, you know, seven pounds, you're only gonna use three to four pumps per use. So it is definitely worth it. It will last probably two months for me because I will use it every other day. Then I got a hair mask, which is one I literally just finished up a few weeks ago. And they don't have that many in store. They just had the banana one and I think that was it. So yeah, I didn't want to go back to the banana one and I thought shea butter would just be a lot more nourishing. It's obviously like a very, not holy grail, but like, yeah, holy grail, like cult favorite kind of ingredient. A lot, a lot of skincare and beauty products now have shea butter extract or like something very, very nourishing. And this, I believe it's a high concentration of um, the nut. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds weird. It's, yeah, community trade shea butter, which is also really great, and it's supposed to reduce frizz and breakage. And I can't remember from the last time if it made a long time difference to my hair, but my hair definitely felt a little bit smoother, I'm a little more tame after using this, and not to mention it smells so, so good. Like, even after washing it out, <laughs> I could smell it on the ends of my hair, so really recommend this. This one's a little pricier, of course. It's a big 240 ml package, and hair masks, obviously, you use them a little more sparingly, about, you know, once a week. So this was, I think, 12 pounds. And then, oh, maybe even 13, I can't remember. Then I got something different. It's the coconut hand gel. And so the coconut hand gel, it's pretty much a handbag size, so you can throw it in your bag. This is for two pound 50, and they had quite a few other scents, and it's got apparently no, Trixolane, Trixo, Triclosan, Triclosan, I believe is how you pronounce it. And I guess that's some kind of like very harsh chemical. So that's great. And I think it will also, I really just sounded like Tony the Tiger there, didn't I? 
Anyway, this smells really good. It obviously has that kind of um, alcoholic scent anyway, but the coconut comes through. It's really, really nice. Come through coconut. That's gonna be interesting to try. Hand sanitizer, I mean, there is, you can't really review it. It cleans your hands, that's pretty much it. But I do like them to have a nice scent because it can get a little overwhelming, especially in public, when you're just throwing loads of like that really, like acidic smelling sanitizer. That's just, no, not nice. I also got, where is it? I got a little lip balm, oh here it is, at the bottom of the back. I got the strawberry lip butter and I wanted something a little more nourishing on my lips, so, and the strawberry one smells amazing. Mmm, yeah, so it looks like a little like serum-y gel texture, but it smells so good. I wonder if it tastes nice. I'm gonna try a little bit. You guys can't stop me. Mm. Oh my god, it actually tastes good. It actually tastes of strawberry. Oh no, I'm just gonna like lick it all off. Anyway, that's fine. Whatever. It's really good. It feels like it's gonna be really moisturizing. So I think this is £3.50 and yeah, you get 10 mil. But again, lip butter should last quite a while. And I think it is gonna be really moisturizing. I can just tell from the formula and the brand, like I really trust the body shop. I think their lip products are gonna be really good. So that is everything, quite a few products. So I don't know where I'm even gonna have space to put all of this. And I cannot go beauty shopping. Guys, do not let me go shopping for any more products for at least a month, at least. Last brand I have to show you guys is, well not brand, but shop is TK Maxx. So I love going into their face mask section because they have the most amazing sheet masks, Korean brands, at least my local ones do because yeah, they're amazing. It's from the brand SNP called Shining, Shining Nature Purity. This is a little different, but because my skin's been acting up and I really want to like keep it like purified and like really clean, I thought I'd go for this volcanic ash mask. So I don't believe it is a sheet mask, is it? No, I believe it is just a normal wash off mask and I guess you leave it on for about 20 minutes and it's going to remove impurities and tighten pores so hopefully my skin is going to look more flawless, not more, like flawless because it's not flawless right now. It was only $1.99 so you really can't go wrong. Um, for a one use mask it is a nice little indulgence. Next is something very very exciting, I've never seen this in store. It's from Mario Badescu, it's a little um, two piece set. Um, you get the facial spray which has aloe, herbs and rose water. I don't think this is a setting spray but I do believe I've seen girls like on Instagram and stuff use it to set their makeup and I guess in the summer or for a travel, for traveling or holidays, whatever, then this could be a really good option. 118 mil, so it is a decent size amount. I think these are both full size products. And then it's kind of twisted around but let's, okay there you go. It's the rose lip balm. And yeah, it says for all skin types, so I believe that will also be really nourishing. 13 pounds, I got these two products. And I may actually sell it, I'm not sure if I wanna use it yet. I might just sell it, I feel like I can make a decent profit. But yeah, we'll see. It looks like a really good product, had amazing things about the brand. Speaking of which, last product is something I'm also very excited about. It's, I only paid eight pounds, and it's from the, oh, Becca Cosmetics Chloe and Malika range. And how much was it originally? I think it was 13, 14 pounds. And they're like Becca B BFFs collection where I think, I don't know if it was just Chloe, but I think Chloe and Malika released a whole range. And this is the Glow Letters. So I haven't opened this at all. Let's see what it looks like. I have actually no idea what this is. I just got so excited at seeing Becca Cosmetics. And I don't think they even sell this range like in the UK normally. This is very strange. So it's got this like little sponge covering it. Oh, okay, that's quite cute. Okay, so it's kind of broken up, but it's basically a little like highlighter um, and bronzer. So you just swirl your brush in there and it's like little X's and O's. Um, doesn't really have a scent, but that's cute. All right, that could last a long time actually. So yeah, that will be, it's almost like a normal powder, pressed powder, um, bronzer but it's just like broken up into little pieces if that makes sense so yeah i don't think i've ever used a product like that before so that'll be interesting okay i'm surrounded in a swarm of products and makeup and clothes that i've just bought help me please so the top i bought i'm very excited about this this is from zara it was 25 pounds but it's a really beautiful is this like chiffon i'm not sure yeah i guess it's like um chiffon style 
very lacy sheer um it's got like loads of trends in it basically it's got polka dots it's got ruffles um sheer material it's a crop top but basically it does look a little weird like how what is this like is it lingerie what do you what how what is this a headscarf um no you basically what i think you should do is wear a lace bralette underneath like a nice or a nude top or a lace bodysuit that would look really amazing just because obviously it's a little too sheer to just wear with nothing like i would not wear just my bra i would need something underneath but you could mix and match wear some nice uh, a nice high-waisted skirt or just plain black jeans with trainers dress it down a little bit so i think it's very very cute definitely worth 25 pounds and i got a size small and yeah i have yet to try it on but it looks quite a little bit baggy so it's obviously not supposed to be completely form-fitting so yeah that is everything i have to show you guys quite a wide-ranging haul um, very collective like an overview of everything I picked up recently, but I think that's it for the summer I won't be purchasing any more recent uh, in the near future So thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this if you do want more in-depth reviews Or you want to see a lookbook or a skincare routine with my new products anything like that Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye